It's a hot button issue for Amarillo, the downtown development. Many in favor of seeing the heart of Amarillo revitalized, while critics are saying they're seeing little progress and want answers. And that brings in the, uh, Pro News Heaven's David Grosso Ortega to discuss part two of your special report, Digging Up Downtown. David, tell us, you have been talking to several prominent business and political leaders about this story, and what they're saying may surprise a few people, is that correct? Yeah, Lindsay, when I started doing research for my series, Digging Up Downtown, I didn't know what to expect. I'm new in town, and I thought that almost all local leaders in business and in politics, along with most citizens, would be completely behind downtown development efforts. Talking to people on and off camera, what I unearthed is exactly the opposite of what I expected. Many people are upset with the, di the direction of development initiatives. And while I think that most citizens believe that government is necessary in bringing back life to our downtown, a lot of people feel like they're out of the loop. And the skepticism that I heard from people that I thought would be huge supporters has definitely surprised us here at Pro News 7. Well, let me preface that by saying that four out of the five members of the city uh, council are friends of mine and I have a great deal of respect for them. And they probably have a lot more information than I do. But it seems like we're spending a lot of time and effort and I don't see the progress that I think we should at this point. I'm concerned about the taxes, all the bonded indebtedness the city's getting into. And the series Digging Up Downtown, which airs Monday and Tuesday at 10 p.m. here on Pro News 7, will be about where downtown development is going and if our priorities are in the right place. Expect some familiar faces as well as a trip down to Lubbock to see what they've done to spur development in their city center. The series explains how the stakes are high for downtown development. And if we do it right, the benefits are potentially enormous for the tax base. And if we stumble, the consequences will last for decades.